Hi guys, Andy here. Uh, we're going back to the Moto G today. Right now I've got Android 4.4.4 KitKat installed on this, but we're going to upgrade that to Lollipop 5.0.1. Uh, this isn't my own, I didn't make how to do this, I didn't figure it out, I didn't make any of the scripts or files or anything like that. Honestly, I just found someone else's guide um, on XGA developers, and I'm trying to, you know, when I do something like this, I make a film showing you how I've done it, which hopefully helps you do. So, here we go, it's the Moto G XT1032, I believe, and we're gonna update, update it to Lollipop 5.0.1. Now, the first thing we need to do is to unlock the bootloader. If you've done that already, skip it a couple of minutes. If you haven't, um, the link is down below, and it, the website pretty much walks you through it. Uh, the first thing you wanna do, though, is install the Motorola USB device drivers, just to make sure that uh, your PC can pair up with the device and communicate with it. It's all simple enough, as you'll see, I'm sped up some of this footage, quite a bit of the footage was sped up because there's no need for you to see it at the slow pace that I was doing it. Uh, the website walks you pretty much through everything, as long as you've used ADB before. If you've not, you might want to go and just check up about that, but then it gives you the commands to put in where essentially it pulls a code from the phone, I did it twice by mistake. You then need to strip that code, well not strip it down, but uh, patch it together into one long code which you're then going to send off on the Motorola website to them. Uh, they will analyze and return, well, they'll email you a code. We were already logged in with my Google Plus account, basically, so they email my Google Plus address. There's a few warnings, because it is about unlocking your bootloader. Does, uh, it could invalidate your warranty, etc., etc. So there's a variety of warnings popping up in your face. Such as that one, warning, bootloader unlocked. That's what you'll see when you boot up your device when we do it. So we need to boot into fast boot mode. Hold down the power and the volume down and let go of the power. You don't actually have to hold it as long as I have just here. I don't, I don't realize it actually works pretty quick. Then we're simply going to plug in our USB cable connected to our PC. Hopefully because we've installed the motor our software, it recognizes it. We take the unlock code that they emailed to us. Now I had to paste it into a uh, text editor to be able to then paste it in after the code that they tell you to type in, not the code, the command, sorry, and that issues the unlock to the device. You should then see it says unlock on your phone and it will then boot up. You'll get your bright white screen saying this device is unlocked. Whoa, there it is. But then it should go ahead and boot on up and you probably won't notice much of a difference Again, I sped up, cut it out, there we go. Um, I didn't bother putting any information at this point. You'll have noticed unlocking the bootloader, you must be aware you're gonna lose all your information. If you're not prepared to do that, probably stop watching this guide now. Carry on as you were, waiting for the OTA. Then let's uh, unzip the Lollipop RA. So we've got our Lollipop folder. Once again, we're going back into fast boot mode. So volume down, power on and off. There we go. We're going to plug our USB cable back in. USB connected. You'll see it says device is unlocked. Status code 3. I don't know what the status code 3 is. Now, we don't need the Brazilian thing. We're going from regular 4.4.4. .4. We run that command. It's going to push a load of data over onto the phone. I think new boot images, new recovery images, and generally all the Google Play Edition stuff. On your device, you should see it all coming in. Again, this is sped up a little bit. You should see it all coming in, and then I believe it says something like ADB complete, and it will reboot. When you reboot, you're still in 4.4.4, .4, but we're now the Google Play edition. Next, we need to drop in our Lollipop OTA into the Lollipop folder, like so. Now, from our fast boot, use the volume down, as you can see, to get recovery, then press volume up to select. We'll get the bootloader unlocked warning again. And then we wait and we wait and we get the, again, I've cut some bits out, the, the dead Android on his back. Now, we hold our volume up for 15 seconds. And again, I've cut out seven or eight seconds or so. Then we press the power after we've counted to our 15. And we get this. We now have volume up and down to move and highlight. And we press the power to select. Now send the package you want to apply to the device with ADB side load, blah, 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 blah. We plug ourselves back in again. 
we come back to our PC and we will see the side load file. There it is. We run that. It basically pushes over. Again, I speed this up in a second. You'll see that going all the way to a hundred percent. Not much is happening on the phone at this point because it's it's just receiving all the information. When we get to a hundred percent is when we'll see some action on the phone. There we go. We look back at the phone, all of a sudden you'll see it starts finding and opening, verifying update package. So we leave that to all the information it's taken, it's now verifying or removing and blah, 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 blah. patching system files, modem files, updating all sorts, and then we get reboot system now. Yes, please. Then we should see it does a regular boot up. Okay, and I've sped that up. You don't need to see it's slow enough even sped up. Do, do, do. Come on. I have noticed Lollipop is quite slow booting up. Um, it could be to do with the encryption. I didn't double check actually if this does encrypt. It should do. So then obviously you get the whole Android is upgrading. Whatever apps you have on there. Again, I've skipped ahead because it's quite slow actually, this process. Someone said to me they did the whole thing in 10 minutes. I won't lie. I took way over an hour, maybe an hour and a half doing the whole thing. Um, hopefully that this video will help you to, uh, to lessen. I think if you know what you're doing, and if you've already got your bootloader unlocked, yeah, maybe it is 10 minutes. Um, but it, you know, things like this, there's nothing you can do about it. They take, I don't know, four or five minutes, perhaps finishing boots. We should then see the lovely lollipopness on the Moto G just to show it. We'll head on into, uh, settings and we'll go to about phone just to show there it is. Android version 5.0.1. My Moto G is actually more advanced than my Nexus 6 right now. But there you go. So uh, hopefully that helps you. You can ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them. But like I said, I didn't design this. I didn't program it. I didn't do anything like that. Um, but hopefully uh, you'll find your way through with this video helping you along. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.